Welcome back everyone. We got about four inches of rain last week. Really softened up the ground. It's late October so it's a good time to aerate a lawn. I picked this up in the spring from Tractor Supply. This is a oh, plug style aerator. Got some knives on the bottom. And I've only used it once. And what I did back then was put some concrete bags on top of here. Reading some reviews, I see there's a lot of problems with this hitch or tongue. It's made out of like a bent piece of sheet metal. I don't even know, you know, how they did it. It wasn't done on a press break, it doesn't look like. It looks like it was just pressed. I've read complaints about this piece bending and breaking and also it's very short so if I wanted to use this on the side-by-side, -side, it's, you know, it's too short. I can't see it from the driver's seat. So what I'm thinking of doing is cutting this tongue off and welding a piece of tube, you know, a few feet longer. That way we can see it out back. Okay, so when this was hitched to the side-by-side, -side, it was riding pretty level. So if we look at the drop on this hitch, let's see, I mean it's going to be close, not perfect. We got about a six inch drop, we'll call it. We'll just kind of, yeah, yeah, I know, no safety guard on the grinder. It's cutting out because the batteries are cold. It's a little cold this morning. See if we mount a plate on there to kind of hold the tube, something like that maybe, and maybe a gusset running here. Yeah, looks about right. We'll go with the old D Walt corded grinder. Cut this. This is a 316th plate, I believe. Welding hood's fogging up. I can't see what I'm doing. Not the prettiest piece of plate, but it'll work. Eyes. Held pretty well. Try that again. Eyes. Six inch disc on a four and a half inch grinder. Seems safe. Derek on Vice Grip Garage is doing. Hmm. Well, that was a good piece. A little bloop from the plasma there. It's all right. Okay, I got our gussets uh, 
Well, they're not as bad as they were. So one will go there. And then one, I want to put it on the outside, but this slot here is where the lever travels to raise and lower the, the tines or knives. So we're going to have to put it inside like that. Pretty ugly. Okay, so I did some measurements. Basically put a ta tape measure from the hitch of the side-by-side -side and then put a bottle jack at the height of the aerator. And that's uh, seven feet. I think that's too long. So instead I'm just gonna make like a four foot hitch and then take the old murder mower here and weld on a piece of angle. Use this to pull it around with. Okay, we've got a piece of three by three by 120 wall, I believe this is. Here's what I'm thinking. To get this to go into the hitch, I'm gonna cut this at an angle. So it's kind of open and we can drop a pin down in there. I'm also going to take this bracket off the old hitch and use it as our keeper. speed. Here's what it looks like hitched up to the side by side. Looks pretty good. Look at those sweet welds. Yeah. Not terrible, but not the best. Now, yeah, like I was saying, you're in the driver's seat here. Look back. Oh, can't even see it. There it is. So we need something with more visibility. So let's get the skag out, put a little bracket on there. Well, that should work.
does have some batteries on there loosely. The ground is pretty, pretty wet still, so it should work pretty well. Definitely see the holes. Let's check out some plugs. Where are the plugs at? See how deep we're getting. Here's one. So that's not not the best. I'd like to see them a little deeper. We probably need more weight. Well, I don't have anything else to use for weight for now, so we'll do that in some other time. I think I'm just gonna aerate with what I got. It's pretty moist. I think it'll work just fine. Well, I lied. I have two 60-pound bags of concrete and two batteries, so hopefully this works a little better. Okay, well with that extra weight it's pulling some pretty decent sized plugs out of the ground. I'm happy with that. Not quite as good as a professional aerator machine would do, but for what I need to do it's fine. This is a, an acreage setting. I don't care a whole lot about this lawn. You know, I just mow it. This is going to help the soil that's compacted get some nutrients and air into the soil and I think it'll work just fine. The way we modified that hitch, I think that's gonna help us, uh, you know, we're not gonna have problems in the future because we beefed it up. Still might wanna do something on the uh, weight tray there. I think for now it'll work just fine. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I hope to catch you on the next video.